Hello and welcome. To find the value of this expression, let us remember that a to the power log to base a of b is equal to b. Now, since these log readings are given in base 10, because of course you know that when we write log without specifying the base, it means we are working in base 10, common log readings. Let our a be equal to 10. With that said, we can write 2 as 10 to the power log to base 10 of 2. And when we do this, we can now write 2 to the power log 2 as 10 to the power log 2, which is 2 raised to the power log 2. Two. And of course, you know that in a situation like this, to get rid of this bracket, what we do is to multiply these two powers. When we do that, we have that 2 to power log 2 is exactly the same thing as 10 to power log 2 squared. Now we do exactly the same thing for this numerator. Let us write 3 as 10 to power log 3 and of course from here we have that 3 to power log 3 is going to be equal to 10 to power log 3 to power log 3 and of course once more when we remove this bracket we have that 3 to power log 3 is exactly the same thing as 10 to power log 3 squared. Now, the next thing we are going to do is that we will replace this numerator and this denominator with these two numbers. When we do that, this expression is now going to be 10 to the power log 2 squared divided by 10 to the power log 3 squared to power 1 over log 3 minus log 2. But now let us remember that in such a case where both the numerator and the denominator has the same base, the only thing we have to do to simplify is to subtract the powers. So we have that this is equal to 10 to the power log 2 squared minus log 3 squared to the power 1 over log 3 minus log 2. And of course, once more, to get rid of this bracket, we simply multiply these two powers. When we do that, this becomes 10 to the power log 2 squared minus log 3 squared divided by log 3 minus log 2. But when you look at this, you're going to see the difference of two squares. Let us remember that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. So we have that this is equal to 10 to the power log 2 minus log 3 multiplied by log 2 plus log 3. And this is divided by... Now let us look at this or this. You know that we can write this denominator as minus log 2 minus log 3. Because when we open this bracket, we have minus log 2, which is exactly what we have here, and then minus minus log 3, which is plus log 3, which is what we have here. 
So what we are going to do is that this denominator is now going to be written in this form. So here we have minus log 2 minus log 3. And of course, with the denominator in this form, this is now going to take care of that, leaving us with 10 to the power minus log 2 plus log 3. But now let us remember that log a plus log b is equal to log a times b. So this is the same thing as 10 to the power minus log 2 times 3 which of course is equal to 10 to the power minus log 6. And of course, you know that this exponent is exactly the same thing as 10 to the power minus 1 multiplied by log 6. Now, what we are going to do is that we will apply the power rule of logarithms to this exponent. We are going to take up this multiplier, which is minus 1, to become the power of 6. When we do that, we have that this is exactly equal to 10 to the power log 6 to the power minus 1. And of course, this is the same as 10 to the power log 1 over 6. Now we go back to this identity once more. Here we have 10 to the power log to base 10 of 1 over 6, which of course we know to be equal to 1 over 6. So we have that the value of this expression is 1 over 6. And with that, we come to the end of today's tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.